Welcome to Rebel Systems Inventory Control Overview tab. I'm going to go ahead and go over inventory control. Uh, by default, you only see inventory by products. You, there is inventory by ingredients if you wish. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the first the product tab view. Now, your first column is your products, of course. Every single time you add a product underneath the products, you will see it in your inventory column for inventory control. Your cost column, that is the cost of your inventory. How much is it? Is is it, does it cost? Your stock value is your cost times the amount of inventory. You'll notice your stock threshold, if it goes below 10 units, you will automatically receive an email. Okay. Your starting inventory is what you started with for that time period. Your receipts is when you receive inventory in. You can go ahead and add it. So I added 755. I started with 100. That means I should have 885. There it is. My Ending inventory count, my theoretical use, that means how many times was the item ordered. Um, you'll notice here for White Craft, I have 100 units I started with. I didn't receive anything. I used 11 units. That means on the POS, it was ordered 11 times. I'm now left with 89 units. Actual. Your actual stands for how much do I actually have left on the shelf, and that calculates the waste and, and the loss for you, the percentage loss. This can all tie in to uh, Cirrus or see to it any other inventory backends that we connect into to help further your inventory control. But this is our product control and how it works. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. If it goes below the low stock threshold, you can send yourself an email, fill in the stock alert email address here. Once you save that, anytime any of your items go low, below that threshold, it will email you very simply. Um, it's a great way to understand your inventory and keep track of everything. Now let's go to ingredients. Ingredients, exact same thing as products, but it's by the ingredient. It only shows up if you add the ingredients underneath products, ingredients. You add the ingredients here, then they will show up in the ingredient control area of ingredients. Now, if you're going to do ingredients, you're going to do product inventory, you're probably going to need something called purchase ordering. To set that up, you have to be an administrator to get that turned on. You gotta to go to the advanced area, go to staff settings and turn on support for POs. Once you turn on support, you go back to inventory, you're automatically gonna see vendors, reorder, purchase orders, shipping address. What does all this mean? This means if you're gonna do purchase ordering, you need to set up all your vendors. Your vendors are people you go to to buy your food from, which is Cisco, Sigma, US Foods, whoever it may be. Once you create your vendors, then you can reorder. Now, in the reordering, it'll show you all the items that are under the low stock threshold. So you can check off the ones you want to order. Oh, I don't want to order everything. I just want to order a couple of them. Just check off the ones that you want. Click the PO tab. Now, if it's not under low stock threshold, but you still want to order it, you can. You just click on other items at the bottom. It shows you the items. You just click on the items that you wish to order and then click generate PO. This will automatically order for you. Once you create the PO, you'll see the purchase order underneath purchase orders, and you can receive it in here. Underneath actions, you'll still see a receive button. If you receive it, it automatically adds it to the inventory count, uh, whether it's a product or an ingredient, it'll automatically add it to the receipts area. Okay? Now you can do this on the iPad. You can receive it on the iPad if you wish, or you can do it in the back end. Either way will work. You can do it either way. Thanks a lot for all your attention. If anyone has any questions, please let us know. Go to ask.rebelsystems.com. That's another great place for your questions, um, and they will respond back to you. For the next person that looks up the same question, it'll be there. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.